Welcome back to another video, Team TST Zeal and Leslie at Ride Ants. It. it is another work day. First official day of waking up knowing that I have fulfilled one of my biggest dreams. So feel extremely grateful for that. But I will be shooting a video on the what it's like to own a Lamborghini. Um, basically like a first day type of take. What it felt like having it for the first initial day being yesterday, even though I ha technically only had it for, I guess, part of the day, but most of it at least. What's the drive like and all of the things I noticed and all of that. So I'll probably be shooting that sometime today. Not really sure. Have plenty to do in general, um, work wise. And I also have so much editing to do probably over like two, 300 worth of clips. The first time I'm coming out actually, after, after having the Lambo and I don't know, I just can't help but smile. Like bro, there's literally a Lamborghini in my driveway. I can't believe it at all. So tell me why I'm trying to browse the car since I, I mean, I got a good look. I drove it for a long time yesterday, but I kind of wanted to look at it with a fresh mind and look at the lift system. I haven't really figured out which button that is. So I was trying to sort that out as well. And I tried to unlock the car. I can't even get into the damn car. There's no keyhole that I could find. Um, not that I really, really looked, but I mean, unless it's a hidden place, which I wouldn't be surprised about. Try to unlock it, couldn't unlock it. I was like, I I don't I don't know if the unlock button's tripping. So I try to lock it, even though it's already locked. And that didn't like nothing happened with that either. So it looks like the battery's already dead in the remote and I only have the one key. So yeah. Uh we'll we'll see. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. I do have to take the car to insurance. So I'm literally out here hours later with a Lambo key. Still can't believe I like it's like literally right here. As stupid as that may sound, considering I've seen it a handful of times at this point, but still shocking. But regardless, I have the key. I'm trying to see if it works miraculously, miraculously. But it is it is not working. And there's another issue actually. I noticed this yesterday, but I thought it was just in the design. But apparently. My sister sent me this video and it's separated right here because the keyhole is actually hidden behind this. And you know, I already knew Lamborghini always hides their keyholes or you know, usually they do. And as you guys could see, it's right there. No way to put the key in without removing this cover. And the issue with that is that the damn cover does not come off. So. I won't be able to show you guys with not having octopus arms um, so I don't have enough hands to do this but basically you lift this up and you're supposed to be able to slide this piece off while this is up in the air and you could put the key in and then just slide the piece back on the only issue is the damn thing does not slide off I don't know if it was glued or it just looks like that now. I'm not really 100% sure. I don't have like a actual legit solution because obviously me of all people, not an expert on these type of cars whatsoever. And yeah, so I have soap and water here, hot water, and I'm hoping somehow it sort of releases whatever is stuck. I'm trying to sort of get the water in there, but I'm not, I'm not 100% sure how to even do that much. Being as careful as possible, but I don't know. Obviously, maybe you have to be a little more aggressive than I'm being, but I'm just too fearful that I'll accidentally break something. My next possible solution, but probably not a solution, who knows, was to actually use a toothpick to sort of see if I could clean up this area. Something kind of tells me that somebody actually has glued this. Uh, which I believe I mentioned previously when I was out here. I feel like, or maybe I was thinking it's myself. I felt like somebody might have glued this together. And that's why it's like super stubborn. And I'm not sure. It just seems like somebody might have. If you look closely, there's like some sort of like residue right here. That makes me also feel like somebody put glue 
and then it got right here but i could be wrong i'm back inside and it didn't it didn't work out like whatsoever i actually do believe that it's been glued because when you look at the back side there's like this goldish yellow residue that's sort of in the little cracked space between the part that's supposed to slide off and the actual handle and also on the back it, it looks like there's like this same residue so it looks like somebody may have actually glued it at one point maybe it actually did break off and they just glued it or something i'm not really 100 percent sure five hours later here we are <laughs> i don't know how many hours later but could not get access to the car the thing is jammed like i said so i can't get um access to the part where or the keyhole and yeah the key still doesn't work not surprisingly so it must be dead for real now i am pulling out a flathead screwdriver to open the key i read the source i haven't really done much research on this because obviously like i said it's a work day work comes first assuming the other battery is unique i will have to probably just order one off amazon and once i finally get that i should have the um access to the car i guess the only thing is the car is actually blocking blue t and it's also blocking another car in so i'm not even sure how i'm gonna go to the post office because block <laughs> blue t is blocked in so i don't think i showed this earlier but i was able you could easily split this i, I think i used literally used my nail um and i was or i used scissors actually which sounds ridiculous but i used scissors to open this and i'll show you guys what it looks like inside all right so finally got it open i actually got to pull out the scissors again flathead screwdriver was being oddly complicated and this is what it looks like obviously there's no exposed battery which is why things have been sort of painful i saw instructions which i'm not sure if it's going to apply but i think they said you have to open this up somehow i'm not really sure where i'm supposed to open since they had no pictures so they said the side with the buttons is evidently where the battery is at so this is the source I read. I'm not sure how much of a source it is, but this person asked about his 06 Gigardo. All of these obviously have the same key and I have 07, but makes no difference. Flathead screwdriver split in half, which, you know, we've already got there. Then take the half with the buttons, pull it apart and use a flathead to pop out the battery, whatever, but bro like literally <clears throat> that was a horrible explanation like what do you mean like take it apart with your fingers like i don't know what i'm supposed to be taking apart right now i'm literally over here doing research like a complete dumbass not knowing how to, this works so i just started playing with the key because i was like maybe i'll just randomly figure it out even though i'm probably the least technical person ever and i just randomly pushed this part and it opened up a little bit. You guys probably can't tell on camera because it's very slight, but I opened this little corner. You could probably, probably could see it now. And yeah, wish me luck. I'm all scared the shit out of myself because I thought that little segment was only gonna come off and then like the entire thing broke apart. And like, this is the freaking key ring right now. So you, as you would imagine, it's in pieces. It's in part and like literally this happened and then i don't know where the hell the key ring just randomly fell out also. and then this is the main piece from earlier uh so yeah let's just see what this battery is it took a minute or two everything has to be difficult because this is a lambo apparently flathead wasn't working so i pulled out some scissors to get it out and yeah that's the battery i guess I have the side mirror rain guards, kind of a touch I put on my, all my cars at this point. Started with the blue tee, put it on the bends, and now this. Currently the next day, and the, uh, I almost called it the bends. The Lambo is unfortunately still stuck in place. And um, 
yeah that's that i reached out to a local lamborghini dealer last night explained the whole situation i'm still waiting on the dealer to respond the lamborghini dealer also the dealer that i bought the car from the car was not bought at a lamborghini dealer so they don't really have too much experience but i thought you know maybe they have, would have some thoughts on it so we'll see if it gets unstuck today i'm not really 100 percent sure the main issue is the car is not only stuck, but it's also blocking all the other cars, including Blue T. So I don't even have a car to go anywhere. Uh, so it's it's quite the struggle, interesting one. I'm keep, keeping my head up. It's somewhat amusing, um, so I'm not letting it bring me down in any way. But it, you know, it'd be nice if the entire situation got sorted out without having to put money into it. People might be wondering, do I miss the Benz considering how much I love cars and I spent a year and a half with the Benz and it was my actual first car that I purchased myself. And yeah, I do miss the Benz. I missed it yesterday. I missed it the day before when I gave it up. You know, I took plenty of pictures of it as my last memory of the car. And yeah, so I do miss it. I knew I was going to miss it. I don't regret the decision I made by giving it up for the Lamborghini. It just seemed financially sound to the point the decision could be financially sound. And yeah, so I mean, realistically, if I wanted it that bad, I could have kept it, but I just didn't think that it would make that much sense financially to keep it. I didn't think it would make that much sense for this point in my life to have three coupes being the Mustang, the Benz, and the Lambo. Obviously, the Benz was supposed to be a sedan to begin with. If it was a sedan, I more likely would have kept it. I'm not really 100% sure. The sedan would have costed less money to begin with, so it would have been probably more financially sound at that point to keep that over this coupe. And, you know, it would have been more practical than I would have had two coupes and one sedan. So it would have been more likely for me to keep. I do have other plans that I won't really discuss now, but a sedan might be coming to this channel. No dealer has reached out, unfortunately. The car is getting dirty, as you guys can see. I mean, I think one line was there before from the trip, but now there's two. And I'm here to measure the center pieces. Post office vibes. After a semi-long day of going sort of back and forth with different dealers and everything, finally everything sort of got sorted out, but not necessarily. Uh, long story short, the dealer I purchased the car from is being being very honorable, so I, res I extremely respect that they are basically going to help me sort out the problem and it looks like i will need to get the car towed all the way to the dealer and they're going to have to figure out how to get into the car number one and number two program the key and yeah the fact that they don't even know off the top of their head how this is going to end up working out just goes to show you that we're all in the same boat at this point uh, myself the dealer that i bought it from and the lamborghini dealer is going to and yeah, we'll just see how that goes. Not sure how much I shared in the last scene, but the inspection on the car itself is going to take like, I think $225 or $275 just to figure out what's exactly wrong with the door handle and the key or like whichever, I guess, to really inspect the whole situation. And on top of that, she said that they're backed up on services. And even if I were able to bring the car today, which I can't um, since it's already closed. It would be um, it'd be take it would take like a week before they even do anything with it. I think it would take a week before they even do the um, inspection, let alone actually replace anything. And if the door, the doors part that I think is actually glued on, if that part actually breaks off then who knows how long it's going to take for that part to come in for them to replace the part so it's like this huge situation i was literally about to finally start editing last week's vlogs 
which is basically the entire scheme of the week, including getting the Lamborghini. I grab my AirPods case, open it, and there's literally nothing in here. So I don't, I don't know where the hell my AirPods went. In a very random update, my dad ended up aggressively playing with it and actually got it off. It looks like it was glued because the bracket is basically broken off already. And you can see the yellow goldish color mentioned yesterday. But the car is still not unlocking manually, so I need to watch videos on figuring out how that works because it's more complicated than it has to be, but it is a Lamborghini. Watch this video. Let's see if it works. I'm not going to show you guys because you might try to rob me. We tried, tried again, and uh, still not working for some reason. Bro, it's lit. Early morning meeting vibes. So I'm just about to jump on this meeting and see what happens. As you guys know, key for some reason doesn't work. I read different things, including the mechanism inside just being bad, I guess. So if the mechanism inside is bad, I guess it runs off electronics somehow. And so the key wouldn't work, even though it's the right key and everything. So really weird things with exotic cars, I'll tell you, but I need to get that sorted out today. And the car may still need to be towed to the Lamborghini dealership, even though the cover's gotten taken off and I could actually access the keyhole. So interesting turn of events and I'll keep you guys posted. Here I am trying it out one last time before I reach out to the dealer once again and figure out what the hell needs to be done on this shit. It would have been a miracle, but I guess that's what I was hoping for. Regarding the bends, the other day, I think it was like yesterday, maybe the day before as well, I checked up on it on the dealer's website just to see if it's been put on sale. And to be honest, it, it felt very like nerve wracking and felt just i don't know just felt weird and it wasn't it wasn't there in the past couple of days and then today i checked and it actually was there there's only one picture i kind of wanted to see how they're selling the car for how much and all of that it explains that its service records are amazing and like it's been extremely well maintained and so on and so forth all of which are true i was actually the first true owner of the car um so i know it was very well maintained but you know obviously it was under warranty and everything so i did everything i could for it and um so that's that price that it's selling for didn't really surprise me they actually kept the bravis um center pieces on the rims as well as the bravis logo on the grill i think they took the bravis sticker off the the windshield and yeah i can't really tell outside of that those through two three things since there's only one photo it looks like they might have changed the spoiler back to the amg one since i can't really notice a large wing in the back but who knows it was very surreal seeing it and yeah i'm not really sure how to feel about it just kind of sad but at the same time you know moving on i guess regardless i got a couple items for the Lambo, which I can't necessarily put on. I don't, I don't even remember. I don't know what's in the packages actually, but I probably won't even put anything on until this whole key situation gets sorted out. As you guys know, I got side mirror rain deflectors for them. Lighting isn't the complete best, but here is package number one. Let's see what's inside here. I think these are going to be a man center pieces. Clearly, they're quite the look if the dealer was willing to sell my Benz with all the little Bravis pieces on it. But here they are. And they all look legit. So these are, they're actually not center caps. I don't know why I said center caps. Uh, I just ordered those today, actually. These are the tire valves. Um, the Benz had a Bravis ones almost just like this, actually. It was red and black. And yeah. So these will be a nice little touch to the car. I am going to be doing red accents and black accents on the car. The car is obviously already black as it is, but all the little things I add to it will either be red or black. 
for the most part like 99 percent i was going to do carbon fiber but i don't think that's where i'm really headed with it once i start ordering stuff there there weren't carbon fiber color options for a lot of things that i ordered so i decided you know instead of doing carbon fiber and red on a black car i'm probably just going to do a lot of red and black i want to keep the sleekness so there won't be a lot of red on it but there will be hints of red everywhere these are my 71 race car instagram stickers that i'm going to put on the car it's sort of a marketing scheme almost because once you get to the my instagram page for 71 race cars you know youtube's connected to it and my personal page is connected to it and so on and so forth but the main purpose is getting people on the instagram page for the cars so that page grows as well as the youtube channel and yeah so these are pretty cool red as you guys could see the next thing is actually going to be for the interior and i tried to get haman pieces couldn't find it anywhere i found it one place and they're out of stock i believe and i i assume they've been out of, out of stock for a very long time so it's not going to appear anytime soon so for at least for the time being i actually got these supreme ones red as you guys could see so it's gonna have a tint of or a hint of red i should say in the interior and yeah these are actually super puffy so they're gonna be pretty smooth I think. join me in the next episode to see what happens with the car and the whole lockout situation obviously it's been dragging out for some days now catch you guys in the next one you guys will find out what happens fairly soon so thank you all for watching please remember to like share and subscribe Check out the clothing brand at triumphclo.com. Triumph your dreams await.